it must be millions and millions, probably even billions of shells that make up this island. It's cool, right? It's absolutely amazing. Internet. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's 12.30. It's pretty much uh, midday, the hottest time of the day. It's absolutely boiling. Uh, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Dakar. Well, I'm leaving Dakar. I'm trying to get out of the city pretty much uh, as quickly as I can. But somehow I've taken well, an interesting route, let me put it this way. What was I saying? Okay, so I have a little bit of a late start today, but uh, that's fine because I'm only riding to a place called Fadius. Fadius, I think. And it's not far, it's uh, 130 kilometers. So uh, this is why it's not so far, but it's supposed to be a super interesting place. So uh, I'm excited and uh, it's south of Dakar. And it will be, it's gonna be my last stop. No, I think it's gonna be my second to last stop uh, for now in Senegal. And then I'm going to enter the Gambia. But first things first, uh, get out of Dakar. I'm going to take, actually, there's a toll road, uh, a big tar toll road. I'm gonna take that for the first bit to get out of the city. And uh, then I'll find some smaller roads to ride. Oh, it is so much better to ride here now than when I entered Dakar. Oh, I did not forget that ride. I may have spoken too soon. Oh, this is very tight. Oh. <laughs> not sure what this is all about. Tall gates. Bonjour. Huh? Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay. Merci. left the highway and now it's time for some rural Senegal and what is just amazing <laughs> are the enormous baobab trees everywhere there's one there it's amazing there are so many of them here and the last time I've seen baobab trees must have been well Namibia mainly I think and then I was also in the season where the baobabs don't have leaves and now it seems like they're just getting them. Just the sheer size of them. I mean, look at this one ahead. It's absolutely incredible, right? It's just amazing. See, they're getting leaves. They're getting tiny leaves now. So it's just, the season is just about to start, I think. I mean, believe it or not, this is a, this track is indicated on the uh, open street maps. It's a, it's a real road, this one. You can just see that the cows, when they oh, walk over here, they make all these cow trails. That's why it all looks a little bit funny. Oh. 
just get left there. Let's take the goat trail or the cow trail. Excuse me. Thank you. reached the tar again so it seems so the last six kilometers is on uh, tar I have arrived in Fadiut okay first things first find a place to stay and then I'm going to uh, have a look around Ocean, heart of the ocean. Let's see if they have room. It is very hot, I'm a little bit sweaty, but I just wanted to show you the room that I'm staying tonight. This is my room, really spacious, but the main cool thing is look, this is my view. How cool, right? It's playing in the river. Just to show you quickly where I am, I'm now right over here in Fadiut. So I'm kind of halfway between Dakar and the Gambia already, only after 130 kilometers of riding. So yeah, I'm just above the Saloum Delta, just, just above it right over here. Right, let's head into the little village. There we go. I am now crossing the walking bridge, which is big enough to go on a motorcycle, but motorcycles are not allowed on the little island that I'm now walking to. It's probably because the entire island is made out of shells. So for centuries, the people have been collecting clamshells and layer after layer after layer, they have been building it until they have an island. And now people live on the island on top of the shells. So, sounds absolutely fascinating. Oh, <laughs> careful. <laughs> so, I'm just going to check it out. Oh, so nice, there's a little bit of a breeze here and now it's almost five o'clock, so it's not so hot anymore. And in fact, it's actually two islands. So the one in front of me and there's a smaller one over there, which I can reach with another bridge. But first I'm going to go to the main island. I am now on the island, as you can see, and here probably, <laughs> it is all shells, look. It is every street on top of the shells. 
and then some baobab trees growing there as well. That is so cool. Free money. Mm. <laughs> quite a cool place. It is so peaceful here. I love it. I do find it fascinating that these trees actually grow here because, well, it's all made out of shells. So that, that fascinates me. There's also like tiny little alleyways here. I where this leads to. must be millions and millions probably even billions of shells that make up this island it's cool right it's absolutely amazing and something else which is interesting about the space is that i think about 90 percent of the people in senegal are muslim except over here Bonjour. Bonjour. i believe the majority of the people here is christian but in general people are super welcoming of each other's religions over here so if there is some sort of religious event people from all religions are invited so i think that is really really interesting about this place the shells are also used for the houses so they're not only on the ground but they use them to build the houses as well you can see it as well they're just in the bricks I think I've already reached the one side of the island. It's not very big. Oh, maybe go this way. I believe there's a couple of thousand people living on the island, even though it's not very big. I can imagine that they do not allow any motorized vehicles here, because then all the shells would be destroyed. that this would lead me back but no and then that is a dead end as well maybe this way bonjour bonjour vous allez bien ça va ça va ça va et vous ça va vous êtes un peu fatigué là hein vous êtes un peu fatigué moi ouais. un peu fatigué comme vous avez 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 Eh bien, Pays-Bas. Je suis hollandaise. Comment, comment tu t'appelles? Moi, c'est Jacques. Jacques. Oui. Et? Moi, Gabriel. 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 Norali. Norali. Yeah. Ok, ok, ok. Cool, you make. Ça va, hein? Ok, c'est ah, joli. joli. Comme vous, hein? Ah, je sais ah, pas. Ah, merci. Vous ah, merci. Belle, oui, et. La première fois, ou bien? La première fois. La première fois. Oui, et je suis en moto. Ah, moto. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. But here, in... no motos, no. No, no, no. no. Pa, pa, okay, you can drive. You can conduire. Ah? You can drive. Yes, yes. You are brave, huh? Absolutely. You are brave. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Au okay. ah, ah, ah. revoir, Jacques. Au revoir, Jacques. Okay, merci. Oh, they have some dried fishies. That's all. Oh, and some big, big ones as well. Wow. Wow, the shells are even bigger here, look at that. Right, this is the second bridge. So I'm now walking on the second bridge, and this one goes to a smaller island, 
which is actually the cemetery. And what's fascinating about this place is, well, it's also made of shells, but it's also fascinating because both Christians and Muslims are buried in the same place. So it doesn't matter what your religion is, they will all have the same burial place. And that's pretty rare. So I'm gonna check it out. There's also some huge baobabs growing on that island. So I'm gonna have a look at that. Just amazing. All the graves amongst the baobabs. It's pretty pretty special. before I was on the other island. Now I am on this side. Eh, tu vas me prendre moi aussi. Huh? Et moi aussi tu vas me prendre. <laughs> okay. C'est 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 What's your name? Comment tu t'appelles? Eh, moi je m'appelle Julie. Julie. Julie Deba. And where are you from? Eh, j'habite à Joël. Ah. Je suis à Joël depuis euh ici in Ah, yeah, yeah, as usual. Uh huh. I'm really, I'm really happy to meet you. Thank you. I'm really happy to meet 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 you. I'm really happy they did a little interview um, and then he realized I'm <laughs> holding a camera myself so he's like okay we can do it <laughs> the other way around as well you can interview me a little bit as well <laughs> so oh what a special place what a special place it's oh, never seen anything like this now I'm gonna walk back over both bridges back to Joel so that's the, the place where my guest house is so that was it for today I think I'm going to end this video here from this beautiful place um yeah it's oh, what a day i really liked it it was it was actually really relaxed distance wise it wasn't very far i did some nice little random roads random trails i really always enjoy that and then ending up in a place like this it's special all right so that was it for today then I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.